can't stay on here long. I'm working on the cookies. I decided to, to do those first. And the theme of these cookies is Transylvania University soccer. So we're doing three different designs. I did, I didn't realize it, but Transylvania, it's like a bat, is their logo. So I, what I did was I drew a really simple sketch of a bat on a piece of parchment paper, cut it out the size that I wanted to fit with the cookie, and then um, these are not done yet. This is just my little drawing on the cookie to make sure that they're all the same size. So there, you can buy these edible ink markers so that you can draw directly on the cake and or cookie. So I'll show you a few of what I'm talking about. So this is a really simple sketch of a bat. I will back and finish decorating it and filling it in, but this guarantees that it's the same on each cookie instead of me trying to freehand that. I didn't used to do that when I did drawings on cookies and it was such a pain because you, even if you can get, make each one look good, make them all the same size, it's just really hard. So I haven't even for sure decided what exactly I'm going to do with this. I know there's a bat on each one. I haven't decided if I'm going to fill it in and make it more of a silhouette look or detail it out. I'm not really sure. But those are those. Then I also am just going to put some that say Transy. And Transy, I looked it up. Um, their logo is like kind of block letters in that crimson red. So this is just a red marker, so it's obviously not dark enough yet. And it's not finished. But just I did some blocky letters so that I can go in and fill it out to make sure it's all similar on each cookie. Same idea. And then some soccer balls. Now, for any of you that have ever decorated anything, or maybe you haven't, maybe you, anybody, if you ask any cake decorator, I would imagine, all the ones I know, we hate soccer balls. We, to, to try to get all the lines, I don't know what it is, but it is a pain in our butts. So, I cut out some round cookies and flooded them in white. I have this tool. This is actually meant for, like if you were gonna, before you bake a cookie, you could impress this design on the cookie and it would, but I don't like doing that because then when they bake, if they spread it all, it's going to mess the lines up. You can also use this on fondant. But what I did today, since the cookies were already flooded in white, I got some black food coloring. I don't know if you really can see that and just painted the lines. It wasn't perfect. It didn't touch as much as I wanted it to, but it gave me a few faint lines on the cookie. And I went back again with my edible ink marker and finish drawing that on. So, again, these aren't done, but this is the sketch so that each one looks like it's supposed to look because I'm telling you, I have tried to freehand that and it is such a pain, whether it's in buttercream or whatever. So, those are the three designs that I'm doing on these Transylvania themed cookies. Um, so, I feel like now it'll go much faster that I've got these stencils cut out and on there and I've got my food coloring already made up. Also, if you are making dark colors, black, red, royal blue, dark purple, whatever, um, whether it's buttercream or royal icing for decorative cookies, it will become a deeper, richer color if you set it up or if you mix it up and color it a few hours. If not, I did these last night, actually. I colored the icing. Um, so it will become darker and it won't bleed as much on your cookie and or um, buttercream. So... I made this last night, I made the black last night, and so now when I go to fill these in, it should be a nice dark black, a nice rich red. I don't have to worry about it being too faint or too orangey or too pinkish or whatever. So that's what I'm working on first. So these are actually gonna be probably one of my most time consuming um, orders today. So I wanted to get these out of the way while I still have energy. Um, and then I have another cake that is covered in fondant. I will probably do that next. Um, and then there is a cake that goes with these that's buttercream that I'll do next. So I've kind of, I've got them all lined up. Every Friday I line up my orders based off of what I want to do first, what I want to do last. The cupcakes, because those are the easiest, are always last. So if it's three o'clock in the morning, I don't really have to be fully awake to ice a cupcake. I can just throw it on there. So that's kind of my method on Friday. Let me see who's on here. Okay, Marsha, hi. Michelle, hello again. Mom is watching. So yes, so that's kind of what you do if you are doing a lot of cookies and you want them to be all exactly the same, it is better to do some kind of stencil or make your own stencil like I did with the bat. Like I literally just cut it out of parchment um, and then place it on top of each cookie because it was already dry because I flooded these cookies last night. So the white part is completely dry enough so I can write on it. Um, so that's, gonna, that's what I'm working on now. And then let's see what else I have today. I have a wedding cake, a groom's cake, 
and a few cupcake orders, a few cake orders. But anyway, it's always best to start with the hardest, go to the easiest later. Um, what else? I think that's pretty much it. I made all my icing earlier in the week. That's what I always do. Um, I actually made it yesterday morning. I make around two to three runs is what I call them of icing per week. But each run is in a 20 quart mixer. So these buckets here, and they're heavy. This, it makes one and a half of these, um, which run has 12 pounds of powdered sugar in it. So that helps you kind of figure out how much icing that is, is a lot. So I do two to three rounds per week. Um, normally during wedding cake season when the cakes are big, like the large four tiers and stuff, I do five runs a week because it takes a lot of icing to cover those. But since my wedding cakes have kind of come down and none of them are super huge, I can usually get away with two or three runs, which actually helps my hands out and my arms because that is really heavy to lift and it kills my arms. <laughs> so, um, oh, looks like we have a comment from Marsha. We need cupcakes. Yay! Happy anniversary or early anniversary. Yes, message me, Marsha, if you want cupcakes because I will totally forget to look back at these comments later. Message me if you do. Um, and lately I've been booking really fast, like about two weeks out or so, um, if not more. It really depends on the week and what orders I have. But I have been doing a lot of last minute cupcake orders because that's something I can do easily. As long as I have the icing to do it, um, then I can do cupcakes because those only take, you know, 15 to 20 minutes to bake, throw some icing on and you're done. So, um, if anybody ever needs last minute stuff, Usually up until Thursdays, I'll take cupcake orders, and then past that, no. <laughs> because by Thursday evening, I've already made my icing for the week, and I do not want to run out. Um, but yeah, usually about two weeks out is how far I'm booking on actual cakes. Um, if it's a really fancy cake, custom, lots of fondant work, I need as much notice as possible. Just throw that out there, because I've had a lot of those lately, and I just can't do them last minute. It's not possible. So, I'm going to pop back off here so I can get back to work. I've got my coffee and my water to keep me energized, and I will check in with you all later. Bye.